Biology is the study of life. An organism is any living thing. A habitat is the home of an organism. Botany is the study of plants. Zoology is the study of animals. Human anatomy and physiology is the study of humans. The primary plant parts are flowers, leaves, stems, and roots. Flowers generally make seeds. Leaves make food via photosynthesis. Stems transport nutrients. Woody erect plants are trees, and non erect are shrubs slash bush. Non woody plants are herbaceous. Vines can be both. Roots can be taproot or fibrous. Angiosperms are flowering seed plants that have fruit covered seed. Half of all plants are angiosperms. Composite plants have microflowers. Sunflowers have micros called disc and ray flowers. Mint plants have flavorful oil. Parsley plants have thousands of tiny complex flowers. Annual have a one season cycle. Biennials have a two season cycle. Perennials live many cycles. Plants with pod fruits are peas. Mustards are vegetables like radish and broccoli. Lily flowers are funnel shapes that open for one day. Nightshades are tomatoes. Grasses slash graminoids are a fibrous rooted plant that prevents soil erosion. The rose family are pretty flowers. Peas maintain nitrogen cycle. Cashews tend to be highly poisonous. Dicots have two cotyledons, branching veins, four to five petal arrangements, and taproot. Monocots have cotyledon, parallel veins, three petals, and fibrous roots. Cotyledons store food in a seed. Broadleaf trees have broad leaves. Hardwoods are broad leaves that have hard wood. Deciduous trees lose leaves every year. Evergreens stay green year round. The top of a tree is a crown. The tree stem is the trunk. Gray tassel flowers are catkins. Operational digression, systems, organs, tissues, cells. The primary leaf types are broad slash flat, long slash narrow needle slash scale. The blade of a leaf is the flat part. The leaf's margin is the blade's edge. A petiole is what connects the leaf to the stem. Stipules are many leaves that cover buds. Buds grow into an extension of the stem. Simple leaves have one leaf per petiole. Compound leaves have multiple leaves per petiole. The blade on a compound leaf is a leaflet. Simple leaf have one blade, compound more than one. Tissue is a living material constructed to perform a task in an organ. Structure tissue provides support for the plant. Vascular tissues are elongated tubes that transport sap. Meristematic tissues handle plant growth and repair. Plant epidermis covers the plant's veins and have a waxy cuticle to prevent water loss. The stomata on the lower leaf provides airflow through the plant and regulate water levels. Mesophyll is the bulk of the leaf and comes in two variants, palisade and spongy. Xylem moves water and mineral sap around the plant. Plant veins contain xylem and phloem, a vascular tissue. The basic structural unit of any living thing is a cell. The cell wall is the epidermis of the cell. The cell membrane is the dermis of a cell, and regulates what enters and exits the cell. Cytoplasm is a fluid in a cell that handles operations of the cell as well as contains microorgans called organelles. The cell wall is made of a material called cellulose, a complex carbohydrate made of long strings of glucose. Chloroplasts are what make a cell that makes plants green. They also provide plants with food. Chloroplasts contain the green pigment chlorophyll. Vacuoles store food materials and fluids along with minerals. Autotrophs make their own food. Heterotrophs and slash or consumers acquire nutrition from other organisms. Autotrophs usually make food from photosynthesis. Photosynthesis has two parts, light reactions require direct sunlight, dark reactions do not require light to occur. Glucose, a simple sugar, is formed during dark reactions. Using cellular respiration, Plants oxidize or burn sugar by combining it with oxygen. Plants convert glucose to sucrose to transport it through the plant. The remaining sugars are converted into starch for storage. 
plant turned hydrogen that was taken from H2O into ADP and NADF. Xanthophyll makes yellow leaves. Carotene makes yellow-orange leaves. Anthocyanin makes red, blue, or purple leaves. An abscission layer cuts the leaf from the stem. Cellulase weakens the cells around the abscission layer to speed up the drop. Plants lose excess water through transpiration. Turgor pressure, turgid, is the amount of water in a cell. Wilting happens when transpiration moves faster than the roots. Special-slash-modified leaves have special jobs. Chapter 2 Flowers are the reproductive portions of a plant. Flowers form on the end of a special stem or flower stalk called a pedicel. The main portions of the flower are attached to the receptacle that holds the seeds. Sepals attach to the edge of the receptacle and protect the petals. The sepal come together to form the calyx. Stamens are the organ that provide the pollen or plant sperm. The pistil is a vase-shaped structure that houses the plant's reproductive system and the plant eggs. A complete flower contains the petal sepals, stamen, and pistil. An incomplete flower lacks one of the aspects of a complete flower. A plant that had pistil late and staminate flowers is monoecious. A plant that produces either staminate or postulate flowers is dioecious. The property of flower bundles is inflorescences. When an ovary ripens, it is called a fruit. The transfer of pollen from the anther to the pistil stigma is pollination. Pollination from one plant to another, or just cross-pollination, similar plant can create plant hybrids. Nectar is a sweet liquid made by plants to attract pollinators. Pollen reaching the ovule is a requirement for fertilization. Reproductive plant cells are called gametes. Sexual reproduction in plants requires the unity of pollen and eggs. Hormones are released by plants that cause the ovary to ripen. A single fruit that grows from a flower with a single pistil is a simple fruit. Aggregate fruits come from a flower with multiple pistils and multiple fruits form from several flowers. Berries are fleshy and juicy throughout. Droops are fleshy and juice with an inner woody layer. Poems have a fleshy exterior and a papery core. Legumes are dry and have pods. Samaras are dry seeds with a wing. Nuts have a seed with a hard shell or cover. Grass fruits are grains. Akines are a seed with a thin and unattached shell. Aggregates form on one flower with multiple pistils. Multiple fruits form from several flowers whose fruits fuse together. Apical or terminal buds increase a plant's length. Axillary or lateral buds grow branches. Bud scales protect the embryonic leaves but do leaf scars on the twig. Nodes are leaf scars. Listicles are holes that provide the plant with air. Primary growth moves up while secondary growth moves out. Spire branching grows only with apical buds. Spreading trees have even growth. Vegetative reproduction is when a new plant starts growing from a stem leaf or root. Asexual reproduction is fertilization less reproduction. Vegetative propagation is the use of vegetative reproduction to create new plants. Cuttings are taking a stem and growing a new plant. This requires adventitious roots. Layering is growing a plant from soil wrapped around a stem. Grafting is the transplant of tissue from one plant to another. Budding is the transfer of one bud to another. A bulb is a subterranean plant stem with thick leaves and a thin stem. A corm have a thick stem and thin leaves. A rhizome is a horizontal corm. Taproots are a root that goes deep that doesn't branch out much. Fibrous roots are numerous and broadly spread. Root hairs absorb water. Apical meristem is where a root starts growing. Upward movement of water is a sap stream. Taxonomy is animal sorting courtesy of Carolus Linnaeus. Linnaeus got his ideas from John Ray. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. The six kingdoms are as follows, Plantae, Fungi, Animalia, Protista, Eubacteria, and Archaebacteria. The two major plant phyla are vascular and nonvascular. Vascular plants can have either seeds or no seeds. Gymnosperms produce ovary-less seeds. Conifers are coned gymnosperms. Ferns are a vascular spore plant. Rhizomes are fern and mushroom roots. 
Fern generations are sporophytes and gametophyte. Club mosses aren't mosses but are more like ferns. Mosses and liverwort are nonvascular bryophytes with rhizoids for roots. Peat moss is a versatile moss. Peat is quite flammable when dried. Liverworts have bigger leaves than moss. Mushrooms are club fungi. Mycelium are the surface level of the fungi. Hyphae are fungi roots. Fungi are not plants. Spores hide in the gills. Shelf fungi are self-explanatory. Rusts and smut are parasitic fungi. Molds are a small fungi and can be parasitic. Sac fungi include yeast. Yeast is used in fermentation and reproduces with asexual budding and spores on occasions. Mildew can be parasitic. Slime molds are neither molds nor fungi. Lichens are a symbiosis between fungus and alga. The cranial cavity contains the brain, thoracic the heart and lungs, abdominopelvic the digestive system, and the spinal cavity the spine. The abdominopelvic and thoracic organs are classified as viscera. The cardiovascular system contains the heart and all the blood vessels. The immune system keeps the body from disease. The respiratory system is home to all lung and air-related organs. The digestive system handles the consumption and processing of nutrients. The excretory system handles the body's waste management. Tissues are a group of similar cells that work as an organ. Nerve tissues control and coordinate organs. Muscle tissues move. Epithelial tissues cover and protect organs. Connective tissues connect the body parts. Interstitial fluids fill the gaps. Lymphatic interstitial fluid is lymph. Membranes are thin tissues that cover organs. Serous membranes line in closed body cavities. Mucous membranes lines openings to the outside. Skin is the cutaneous membrane. Synovial membranes line joint cavities. Vestigial organs were assumed to be useless. Materials around the cells are the matrix. There are 206 bones in the skeletal system. The axial skeleton is the 80 bones that support the main body. The skull is split into the cranium and facial bones. Baby skulls are connected by fontanelles. Sinuses add resonance to the voice. The hyoid is the mount point of the tongue. The vertebral column is the primary mount point of every other bone. Intervertebral discs add bonus movement to the spine. The atlas and axis move the head. Coccyx is the tailbone. The sacrum is joined rigidly to the hips. The thoracic cage contains the ribs, sternum, and costal cartilages. The scapula and clavicle make the pectoral girdle. The arms are made up of the radius, ulna, humerus, carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges. There are two pelvic bones and the sacrum in the pelvis. The legs are made of femur, tibia, fibula, patella, tarsals, metatarsals, phalanges. The four bone categories are flat, short, long, and irregular. The bone shaft is the diaphysis. The bone bulb is the epiphysis. Compact bone is the solid portion. The sponge bone resides in the epiphysis. Marrow fills the hollow spots of the bone. Yellow marrow resides in the metallary cavity. Osteoclasts clear away old bone. Osteoblasts build new bone. Osteocytes are osteoblasts that get trapped in lacuna. Muscles are covered in fascia. A muscle cell bundle is called a fascicle. Muscle cells are made of myofibrils that are made of overlapping proteins. Myofibrils are surrounded by sarcoplasmic reticulum. Neuromuscular junctions allow muscle contraction. Cardiovascular system has your blood. The major blood vessels are the arteries, veins, and capillaries. Blood ISS a thick fluid containing many solid particles. 55% of blood is plasma, 0.45% of blood is white, 44.55% of blood is red. Plasma is the watery straw-colored matrix of blood. Plasma is made of water, waste glucose, fats, amino acids, albumin, globulins, fibrinogen. Circulatory shock happens when blood loss causes a rapid drop in blood pressure. Red blood cells or erythrocytes contain hemoglobin that holds O2. 
Anemia is an insufficient oxygen transfer. Sickle cell anemia is when heme groups form into a crystal. Red marrow makes red blood. The life cycle of a red blood cell is 120 days. Leukocytes are white blood. Leukemia is white blood cancer. Platelets provide clotting. Hemophilia is a genetic anti-clot. The proteins and carbohydrates that identify cells are antigens. Antibodies kill foreign cells. The ABO blood group has A antigen and B tigen. RH defines the plus slash modifier in blood. Harvey discovered blood flow. The heart is a good pump. The pericardium surrounds the heart. The top chambers are the atria. Ventricles are the bottom chambers. The layers of the heart are the pericardium, epicardium, myocardium, and endocardium. The heart has valves to prevent backflow. The tri- and bicuspid valves are the AV valves. The vena cava returns blood to the heart. The pulmonaries move blood the lungs. The aorta moves blood back out throughout the body. The coronary arteries supply the heart with blood. The cardiac veins move heart blood into the coronary sinus. The cardiac muscle cells are uninuclear. The sinoatrial node supplies the cardiac conduction system with electricity. The atrioventricular node delays the ventricle pulse to supply a pumping motion. An electrocardiogram measures the heart's electrical signals. The pump stroke is systole. The fill stroke is diastole. The combination of a systole and a diastole is one heartbeat. The rushing sound caused by a damaged valve is a heart murmur. A clogged artery paired with a blood clot causes a heart attack. Ventricular fibrillation is the move from a beating heart to a rapid twitching. The transfer of oxygen between blood alveol cells is internal respiration. Blood's outward force is blood pressure. BP is measured in millimeters of mercury. Hypertension is high BP. The rhythmic pressure change tied to the heart is your pulse. Sphygmomanometer measures BP. The respiratory system supplies the body with oxygen primarily through the lungs. In slash exhaling are external respiration. The nasal cavities moisten and warm the breath. Nasal meatuses are air pockets in the nasal cavities. Air passes the glottis and larynx. The trachea is the windpipe. The bronchi split from the trachea and lead into the lungs. Each bronchi splits into several secondary bronchi, then to bronchioles. Alveoli handle oxygen transfer. Inflammation of the bronchial tubes is bronchitis. The infection of the respiratory lining is pneumonia. Pleura keep your lungs from rubbing the ribs. The diaphragm moves the lungs. When air enters the body to equalize pressure, you have inhaled. When air is expelled to depressurize the lunges, you have exhaled. The brain's medulla oblongata handles breathing. Your max breath is your vital capacity. Your standard capacity is your tidal capacity. The most common respiratory disease is the cold followed by influenza. Emphysema is alveolic deterioration. Cystic fibrosis causes the lungs to fill with a gummy mucus. Lung cancer is the uncontrolled growth of abnormal lung cells. Integumentary system is just the skin. Skin protects and covers the insides. The regulation of the body's temperature is homeostasis. The epidermis is the skin's external layer. Keratinization uses keratin to harden skin cells prior to rising to the surface. Melanin is skin pigment. The dermis is skin layer 2. Layer 3 is the subcutaneous layer. Melanoma is a type of skin cancer. The hair shaft is made from epidermal cells. The erector pili muscles are connected to the base of the hair follicle. Sebum is skin oil. Sweat is skin coolant. Excretion is the removal of waste. The urinary system handles liquid waste. Kidneys handle the primary urinary filtration. The urinary bladder stores urine till it is ready to be released. The substances pulled from the fluid in the kidneys undergo reabsorption. The remaining liquid that is pushed into the bladder is urine. The kidneys produce renin to keep kidney blood pressure up. ADH-slash-antidiuretic hormone regulates reabsorption. A dialyzer is an artificial kidney. Dialysis is the use of a dialyzer. 
Endocrine system handles long-term functions. Endocrine glands secrete into blood. Exocrine secrete to the outside of the body. Hormones are stimulators. The pituitary gland is the master gland and handles growth, using somatotropin. Gonadotropins affect the reproductive systems when they mature. The thyroid uses thyroxine to control metabolism. Calcitonin decreases blood calcium. Parathyroxine increases blood calcium. Deficient infantile thyroxine is called cretinism. Hypothyroidism can cause a enlarged heart and decreased heart rate, extreme cases called myxedema. Hyperthyroidism causes anorexia and an increased metabolism. A simple goiter is caused by iodine deficiency. Islets of longer Hans control blood sugar. Insulin lowers blood sugar. Glucagon raises blood sugar. Diabetes mellitus, type 1, is when the body produces inadequate insulin, type 2, or when the body doesn't react properly to produced insulin. Adrenal glands produce epinephrine, adrenaline. The adrenal glands also produce steroids. Pineal gland regulates sleep with melatonin. Gametes are the union of egg and sperm. The reproductive system utilizes the gonads. Adolescence is the transition into a developed body. Babies start with conception slash fertilization. Gestation is the period from conception to birth. An embryo is the start point for a baby. From nine weeks to birth, the baby is considered a fetus. The baby begins in the fallopian tubes as a zygote, fertilized egg. The then formed hollow ball of cells is called a blastocyst. The blastocyst will then undergo implantation to the uterus. After implantation, the amniotic sac forms to protect the baby. The fetus will form three layers called primary germ layers. The placenta forms with half the tissue being from each person. Umbilical cord transfers nutrients from placenta to baby. Labor is also called giving birth. The belly button is called the umbilicus. A disease interferes with regular bodily function. An organism that causes disease is a pathogen. Infectious means it can spread. Acute is a targeted time frame. Chronic lasts a while. Degenerative diseases degrade a function over time. Immunological diseases, like allergies, are caused by immune system malfunctions. Autoimmune diseases are caused by the immune system assaulting itself. Congenital diseases are birth defects. Genetic diseases can be inherited. Endocrine malfunctions are hormonal diseases. Improper diets can cause nutritional diseases. Rogue cells can cause cancer. Rapidly reproducing cells are tumors. A benign tumor is non-cancerous. Malignant tumors are spreading and cancerous. Communicable diseases can be passed from person to person. The unicellular bacteria are the most widely spread organisms. Plasmoids are small DNA circles. Cocci grow in chains. Bacilli are rod-shaped bacteria. Spirilla are spiraled. Bacteria reproduce asexually using binary fission. Rickettsii only reproduce inside of other cells. Endospores are durable support capsules. Aerobic bacteria require O2. Anaerobic bacteria do not require O2. Pasteur developed the germ theory. Cox postulates identified the pathogen that caused the disease. A virus is DNA encased in a capsid. Protozoa are tiny animals that cause malaria. Droplet infections are carried by water. Venereal diseases are just STDs. You have an infection if you have a pathogen. A symptomless pathogen distributor is a carrier. Epidemics are widespread waves of disease. Vectors are animal carriers. A vaccine stimulates the body to develop an immunity to a disease. Leukocytes are red blood cells. The phagocytes roam through the body to engulf any infections that they find. Histamines notify other white blood cells of the presence of an infection. Histamines can cause inflammation. Interferons limit viral spreading. Lymphocytes produce antibodies. Body cells are surrounded by tissue fluid. The lymphatic system works as the body's sanitation and cells waste system. Lymph is the drainage fluid. 
Lymph ducts dump lymph into the veins. Lymph nodes monitor the lymph fluid and halt any pathogens. Tonsils and adenoids serve as the primary immune center for children. Lysozymes are the perspiration and tears. A fever is the body baking out a disease. The body's resistance to a pathogen is immunity. Innate immunity is immunity gained without the presence of antibodies. Acquired immunity is gained from exposure. An immune deficiency is a deficiency in the body's immune system. Pyres patches are lymph nodes in the intestines. Immunotherapy is utilizing vaccines and medicines to be more aware of diseases on arrival. Chemotherapy is the use of chemical compounds to treat a disease. Antibiotics are substances produced using bacteria. Solomon was a naturalist. Anamander devised spontaneous generation in the early 600s. Evolution is the belief that all beings come from a common ancestor. Plato's doctrine of ideas was the belief that we learn by remembering knowledge gained from past lives. Aristotle's doctrine of intellect stated that intellectual speculation was the highest form of reality. Romans were responsible for the early spread of info and knowledge. Galen believed that direct observation was the only way to learn. Nestorians maintained studying through the Middle Ages. Otto Brunfels wrote Living Picture of Herbs. Leonhard Fuchs wrote Natural History of Plants. Conrad Gessner wrote Histories of Animals. Vesalius wrote The Structure of the Human Body also called Fabrica. Harvey made advancements on the inner workings of the heart. Materialism is the idea that there is only the physical universe. The British Super Secret Science Club was London's Royal Society for Improving Natural Knowledge. The French LRS was the French Academy of Sciences. Robert Hooke wrote Micrographia. Anton van Leeuwenhoek only studied con on microscope. Cell theory states that everything is made of cells. Scientific method, Bacon observe, hypothesize, experiment. Inductive reasoning takes specific examples toy general cause. Ethics are scientific rules of conduct. A hypothesis is a speculation about nature based off of general principles. A controlled experiment has uniform dependent variables, and one altered independent variable. A group where the independent variable is not present is a control group. Once a hypothesis receives scientific consensus, it archives the rank of theory. A time-tested and verified theory becomes adopted as a scientific law. Francesco Ridi was one of the first scientists to provide evidence against spontaneous generation. Louis Pasteur removed spontaneous generation from the ranks of law. The law of living biogenesis states that living things can only come from other living things. Scientism thinks science can find the answers. Charles Darwin's origin of species was the core foundation of today's evolution. Charles Lyell's principles of geology founded uniformitarianism. Natural selection states that only the strongest survive. Eugenics seeks to cherry-pick the perfect human through selective breeding. Speciation is an animal's adaptation to suit its climate. Macroevolution is the hypothetical kind hopping. Paleontology is the study of fossils. Transitional forms are the in-between kinds. Punctuated equilibrium is the rapid change from kind to kind followed by a period of no change. Geological column is the fossil calendar. Geologic layers are identified by index fossils. Circular reasoning is the fallacy where one bases his argument on the very thing he's defending. Radiometric dating uses the half-life of atoms. The Cambrian explosion says that life truly began to flourish in the Cambrian layer. Coelacanth is a fish that was assumed to be the fish Phibian link. The Archaeopteryx is a projection of a Dinobird link. The Eohippus was a relative to the Tapirs. The descent of man was a wild theory to explain man in the scheme of evolution. Piltdown man was a hoax formed from the skull of a human, an orangutan jaw, and a chimpanzee tooth. Nebraska man was just a pig's tooth. Ramapithecus was a cousin to the orangutan originally constructed to appear human. Australopithecines were a series of failed linkages to humans. A. Africanus, Tong, was just an extinct ape. A. Boise were also just an ape. Homo habilis was a tiny chimpanzee. 
Peking and Java Man were both just dudes. Neanderthals were just early humans. Cro-Magnon Man was just a dude who liked caves. Comparative anatomy studies the differences between organisms. Analogy is similarity by environment. Homology is similarities in internal structure. Molecular biology studies cell mechanisms. Paley devised the watchmaker's theory. Mutations are genetic mistakes. Peppered moths prove speciation. Embryonic recapitulation says that the human embryo is an evolutionary replay. All known life exists in Earth's biosphere. Ecology is the study of life and its interactions. A habitat is where something lives. Large isolated geographic areas are biomes. Ecosystems are the smaller parts of biomes that are self-sustaining. All ecosystems are either aquatic or terrestrial. A community is all the living things in an ecosystem. A population is a group of organisms of one type. An organism is an individual life form. An ecosystem's stability is its ability to resist change. Abiotic factors are, radiation, temperature water, atmosphere soil, wind. Biodiversity is an ecosystem's number of species. An ecosystem's carrying capacity is its maximum sustainable population. Organisms zones on the abiotic scale are their tolerance ranges. Optimum ranges are animals' optimum thrival conditions. Biotic factors are an ecosystem's living components. Dynamic equilibrium is an ecosystem's ability to remain the same even as its factors change. Autotrophs make their own food. Heterotrophs consume food. Herbivores consume plants. Carnivorous consume meat. Omnivores eat everything. Scavengers or detritivores eat the dead things. Decomposers turn dead into soil. Trophic levels sort you by what you eat. A food web shows all possible feeding chains. A niche is an animal's position in the food chain. An energy pyramid shows the loss of energy in the food chain. A climax community is its climax vegetation and animal population combined. An arctic tundra is just south of a ice cap. A taiga is mainly pine. A temperate deciduous forest is a warmer, oak taiga. A grassland is just a prairie. A desert has less rain than is lost through evaporation. Tropical rainforests have year-round growth. Aquatic biomes are self-explanatory. An intertidal zone is a beach. An estuary is the mouth of a river meeting an ocean. Neritic slash coastal zones are the zones on the continental shelf. Pioneers species are the first to return after a disaster. Ecological succession is the gradual return of life to a destroyed location. Animals are freely moving organisms that traverse their environment. Bilateral symmetry is symmetrical on one axis. Radial is symmetrical in multiple axes converging at a point. Asymmetrical is not symmetrical. Vertebrates have backbones. Invertebrates have no backbone. An endoskeleton is an internal skeleton. Tetrapods have four appendages. Warm-blooded animals regulate blood temp. Placental mammals are raised in a womb. Marsupial mammals are raised in a pouch. A gestational period is a time in the womb. Oviparous animals lay eggs. Aardvarks dig holes and eat ants. Elephants are mammals with trunks. Tusks are enlarged incisors. Sea cows, dugongs, or manatees are like cows but for shallow water. Echidnas are egg-laying crosses between a and urchin and aardvarks. La platypus is a mammal who lays eggs, has a bill, has a beaver tail, is poisonous, and very cute. Pangolins and armadillos are the only scaly anteaters. Diurnal lives in daylight. Nocturnal lives in night. Marsupials have marsupium or pouches. Roos are marsupials with chunky back legs. The opossum is the only marsupial outside of Australia. A wombat is a chunky variant of the numbat who likes to dig. Numbats are squirrels who eat ants and have pockets. The Etruscab shrew is the lightest mammal. Hedgehogs are tiny nonviolent porcupines. Moles are hideous worm-eating burrowers. Bats are mammals with wings instead of fingers. Whales are fish-like mammals. Baleen whales use baleen or hair teeth to filter water from krill. 
The blue whale is the largest mammal. Toothed whales include dolphins, porpoise, orcas, and sperm whales. Primates are tree mamas who have brains. Apes don't have tails. The gorilla is the largest ape. The gibbon is the smallest ape. Orangutans are shaggy and orange. Chimps are probably the most intelligent apes and slash or animals. New world monkeys like in rainforests and have grabby tails. Old world monkeys have close nostrils and live in the eastern hemisphere. Lemurs are weird primates with bushy tails. A rodent is a small gnawing mammal with two sets of chunky chisel teeth. Mice make nests out of shredded material. Rats are mega mice with a mean streak. La capybara ESLE largest rodent. Squirrels are rats with bushy tails who like trees. Tapers are like hornless rhinos. Equids include horses. Artiodactyls have either antlers or horns. Animals that chew cud are ruminants. Velvet is the soft layer of skin on the outside of antlers. Bovids are ruminants with unbranched hollow horns who graze. Deer are ruminants with antlers. Camels are desert ruminants shoe feet. Carnivorous are flesh eaters. Bears are omnivores and include black, brown, grizzly, and polar. Canines are dogs. Weasels are rodent hunters like beans, nacho, and onion. Everyone knows cats. Seals have flippers instead of feet. Walry are mega seals with tusks. An animal with no surviving relatives is extinct. An endangered animal is almost extinct. Bipedal animals have two feet. Perching birds have three toes forward and one back. Birds of prey are hunters including owls, eagles, and osprey. Water birds have water-repellent oily feathers and potentially webbed feet. Game birds have beefy flight muscles and ground nests. Tropical birds are just parrots. Flightless birds? Would you settle for an emu? Extinct birds were massive. Feathers allow birds to fly. Contour feathers point towards the tail to help move air. Flight feathers allow a bird the shape for flight. Down feathers provide great insulation. Bird bones are hollow. The allula is a bird's thumb. Bird brains are designed for high coordination. The nictitating membrane allows birds to blink without losing sight. Birds can see into the UV scale. The crop is a food pocket in the esophagus. A bird gizzard allows for the grinding of food. The cloaca functions as a bird's bladder and large intestine. A bird's salt gland is above its eye. Birds use air sacs to double oxygen efficiency. A syrinx is a bird voice box. Migration is annual bird relocation. A flock is a group of birds. Flyways are routes taken year after year. Egg white is also called albumin. The egg yolk is the largest single cell. Instinct is a natural born wisdom. Incubation is the act of keeping an egg warm. A brood patch is a bald spot on a mother's belly to promote warmth. Bald baby birds are called altricials. Precocials are baby birds covered in down. Snakes are cylindrical legless reptiles with dry scales. Lateral undulation is slithering. Rectilinear movement is the act of scrunching like a snail. Concertina movement is movement line a slinky. Sidewinding is the constant tossing of a snake's body across sand. The quadrate bones are for hearing. The Jacobson's organ is its tongue nose. Blind snakes look like earthworms. The Boyd family loves hugs. The colubrids are snakes like garters or moccasins. Fangs inject venom. All elipids are fixed fanged and venomous. Viparids are vipers like copperheads and d backs. Antitoxins are antibodies. A hematoxin hits the veins. A neurotoxin hits the nerves. Turtles have no teeth and hard shells. Estivation is a summer hibernation. Freshwater turtles have flat bottom hard shell. Marine turtles have flippers. Tortoises are land turtles. Crocodilians are chunky long-tailed water bois. The tuatara has a third partial eye. A dinosaur is a reptilian megalith of an extinct animal. A sauropod is a long-necked herbivore. Theropods are bipedal dinosaurs with chunky legs and baby arms. Ceratopsions are rhino-like herbivores. 
pterosaurs are flying dinos. Amphibians are cold-blooded terrestrial-slash-aquatic hybrids. Metamorphosis is the form transition from juvenile to adult. Anurans are leaping amphibians. Chromatophores control skin color. Amplexus is a frog's mating embrace. Vomerine teeth are attached to the vomer bone. Mesentery is the intestine lining. Frogs can breathe without lungs using buccal respiration. Cutaneous respiration is breathing through skin. Salamanders are tailed amphibians. Salamanders internally fertilize. Pedomorphosis is non-phasic development.